And it's a whole new world between robots and agriculture and the use of automation on the farm is one of the big themes today at the TechCrunch Robotic Sessions Conference later on on campus. And one of the big companies in agriculture that's using robots in the field is Driscoll's Berries. You might recognize them. It's the largest berry distributor in the world. And they're testing out this robotic strawberry picker. Take a look. It delicately picks the fruit without bruising it, which is so critical in getting it onto store shelves and into your home. And that's where soft robots come in as well. That's a whole industry in itself. Soft Robotics is a company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And look at that. It uses its malleable robotic hands. Look at those blue hands there uh, to pick tomatoes off trees, uh, pack eggs into cartons and also chicken breasts into packages. And finally, big ag company John Deere is also investing heavily into technology. Its combines and tractors are highly automated. The machines also have built in sensors to track the soil type and conditions as the farm vehicles are going over the field. And that allows the machines to more precisely apply fertilizer or herbicide over the area. Deere tells us farmers who use their technology can save thousands over the season. They also opened up new offices in San Francisco where they're hiring software engineers that happened last year. And they also acquired hired a uh, Blue River Technology last year, which is an ag tech startup. So they're really big on innovation. Back to you guys. Hey, Aditi, one of the things that we were watching as you were talking about that were robotic hands picking up peeps. If you want to know exactly how gentle these things are, it's not breaking yeah. the peeps or, or pushing through anything. One question, though, with, with yeah. deer talking about how it can save farmers thousands with that, is that because they're using less in pesticides or is there something else that goes into that? Yeah. It's a combination of things. So, so partly, yes, they're using less products, so there's savings there, and they're just optimizing everything so that, you know, I mean, certain terrain here is different than the field over there. So because our sensors can really pick up the soil type and, and what's needed um, really in real time, they're really optimizing the use of their resources to make sure that the, the yields are also uh, maximized in those cases. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.